Hi, welcome to part 2 of our series of web service tutorials uh, using JAX RS. In the first of the series we saw how we can set up the environment and now we're going to go ahead and implement our very first RESTful web service. So what do we need to do? First of all, we want to inside Eclipse we want to create a project, a web project, uh, then we need to configure the web application for JAX RS services, uh, we need to implement the RESTful resource which will be our web service and we'll deploy to Glassfish and test using the REST client so let's go ahead and do all that ok now we're in Eclipse ok let's set up a new file new dynamic web project and I'm going to call this uh, my first uh, REST service and we're going to select our target runtime, which will be Glassfish, which should now be in the list here. Okay. We're going to select create a new local server. And, okay, we get an error. Glassfish server requires a full JDK instead of a CRE. If you remember from the first uh, tutorial, we specifically installed the JDK. Now we have to tell Eclipse where to find it. I'm going to uh, search my installation folder which is D program files java uh, let's just go ahead there and now jdk we're going to set the jdk to be the default ok now we need to tell da -da -da -da, the jdk that's it gone now we know error message and what happens now is we need to tell Eclipse where it's going to install the Glassfish application server. So I'm going to go to my Vevel servers. Uh, I've already got it installed, but let's make a new server. Let's put Glassfish app server. server. Okay. There is no gla valid Glassfish installation. So we need to install server. Now this is going to take a few minutes for sure. I'm going to pause the video and come back when it's installed. Okay, so that's it. The installation um, downloaded. I'm going to press next. I'm just going to skip past all of these and finish with the defaults. Okay, uh, next. There's nothing to change here. Now, here's the interesting bit. We, in the old days, we had to create a web XML deployment descriptor. Um, nowadays we can annotate a class and tell the web application that we're using JAXRS. So let's do that. So I'm not going to select the web XML and we're going to finish. And let's see, window show my package explorer. Here's my first REST service. We are going to create, first of all, our application. Um, so I need to create a class. Normal Pojo. Let's call it uh, REST application. Give it any name you want. And we're going to extend the application from JAX, JAVAX WSRS core. And the use of the default package is discouraged, and we agree. Dom dot Java Ocho. And that's it. Off we go. Now, we want to annotate the class with application path. Uh, application path. And give it some path. Let's call it resources. So, this is a bit that configures the JAX RS <coughs> uh, default path. Now let's create a class that will be our new other class. Uh, let's call it employee employees. Employees. This is going to be our RESTful web services class. Annotate with path 
Me checks WSRS, give it a fast name, Wrath Employee Employees and create a method. That will be a get request. And then we'll return a string. Get employee. Oh, let's say get employee names. Return and for the purpose of this demonstration, we'll turn a, a list, a hard coded string. Uh, Martin, John, etc. Ah, Martin, John's fine. Okay, that's it. Uh, nothing more to do. We need to deploy onto uh, run as run on server um, glass face, and we're going to always use the server when running this project. Finish. Theory Which is a spoiler, so I don't know what that means. Right. The server is starting. Uh, okay, ignore that. I'm just gonna copy this. We can run it in this this is a internal browser of Eclipse. Um, it's up a little bit. Oops. Okay, now we've got some more real estate. Uh, okay, this is a web application root context, my first best service. We need the need to define the resources resources uh, which is the taken from the REST application. And we want employees. No. I'm not quite sure what that means, but <laughs> let's. I'm going to do the same inside Google Chrome. Um, okay, so resources, employees. There we go. Okay, so there's something wrong with the Eclipse browser, but not mine. So there's a first RESTful web service. Um, we use the HTTP GET method and it returned a hard coded list of employee names. Okay, so uh, thanks very much for watching. Tune in to the next episode where we'll begin to get a little more complex and I shall see you then.